Welcome back to another video and in this video I'll show you how you can change your camera settings in the Mi A1 and get some really cool looking images. Hi guys welcome to Top 4 Alley. First I request my all new viewers subscribe my channel for latest tips tricks hacking free net tricks related to Android computer etc. Guys this is the camera user interface of the Mi A1 just as you tap on the camera icon this is the user interface you will get to see. Now what you can do here is to tweak couple of settings that I will show you right now. Uh, as you can see there is a bit on the darker side of this frame so foreground element is on the darker side what you can do is tap on wherever you want to focus inside the image inside the frame and just increase the exposure value not too much because you'll blow the highlights as well here so increase the plus uh, 0.7 or 0.3 stop say that you increase to these stops and capture the picture so that you get properly exposed evenly lit images so this is how you can tweak this exposure value exposure compensation setting now if i want to make it darker so i can reduce it to minus one or say even minus two stops so that is how you can compensate and take some really nice images using the ev value so the next setting you have here is the hdr which is high dynamic range i think you you all know about hdr uh, but what it does is in brief it covers the shades of black as well as shades of white that means the highlights won't be blown up and the shadows will be shown properly that's why you use hdr in certain situations where you need to uh, show the shadows as well as boost the highlights so that way you can capture really nice images using the hdr so there is only couple of options uh, just uh, enable and disable there is no auto hdr available on the mi a1 so this is what you can do with the mi a1's default user interface now we shall move to other customized options where you find it here just tap on this option and you have plenty of options to enjoy with so this is the audio mode what happens is whatever you speak whatever you talk and it starts to capture the image so it triggers the voice and it recognizes your voice and uh, whatever you yell at it so it will just click the image for you and what you can do is to use the square mode whenever you want to share your pictures on Instagram so that you don't lose any of the frame here and directly you can share your pictures as well. So I need not crop again and need not edit at all. So directly you capture the images in square and everything will be covered without any cropping and yet you can share it quickly on Instagram. That's how you use the square mode. The next one is the timer. I need not explain again. You know how timer works 3 seconds 10 seconds 5 seconds timer is what you have the another interesting thing to use is straight and mode here so however you hold the camera you think that some weird angle uh, comes in the in the frame or picture but Xiaomi can handle you for that using this straight and mode so however you hold the camera it will automatically decide on what's straight here so you don't have to use the grid lines as well that way you can capture uh, straight images which are level to horizontal every single time so this is a very pro level option so i suggest you i recommend you to use it every time when you are capturing any type of image so the next option to change is the tilt shift so this tilt shift can be used uh, uh, in particular situations say you are capturing some street lights street photography if you are doing and you want that uh, uh, entire frame but still you want to keep the traffic moving flow in sharp so what you can do is to use this parallel and uh, use that even in this kind of situation as well if you want to just cover the uh, pathway to be sharp and the rest of the thing in the frame to be blurred you can use the parallel you can use the circle while capturing flowers or close-up shots of any subject even you can use this as a portrait effect as well the pictures come really great because the center will be very much focused if you want to move the center of focus to other side you can just tap on wherever you want and you can use that particular uh, a frame to be sharp and the rest of the thing will be totally blurred so this is how you can pick the setting of this tilt shift and take some really good and cool images so it all depends on your creativity what you are taking what the subject is but i'm just explaining you what these modes does so the next mode here is the manual this is where everything gets interesting everything gets unlocked so that you can capture your images the way you want now one interesting thing the mi a1 has is which is very famous for is the dual camera setup here as you can see you have the wide angle lens as well as telephoto lens so that way whenever you capture image you can capture it with the two perspectives so that's an awesome thing about the mi a1's camera tap on this lens so you here you have wide and tele you can switch back every single time from wide to tele and you can get some really close-up shots sitting at same place but still you can zoom in because the lens is telephoto lens so everything will be uh, very up close so you have two perspectives here just look at this image how wide angle it gets and how telephoto it gets so you can 
see it for yourself the difference between two images so this comes really handy even if you are capturing flowers uh, you can capture it with a telephoto lens that way extra blur is what you get across the frame and only the subject will be in proper focus so that's why you use the telephoto lens it's just like a dslr cameras the telephoto lens when you use that and you change the aperture value you get really blurred backgrounds but really compressed backgrounds uh, soft background and yet the subject remains really sharp and intact so the next setting here you have the, is the control of iso so iso range starts from 100 to 3200 which is awesome for this price what you can do is with the iso is i suggest you to leave it to auto because whenever you change the iso to higher number the images gets noisier but only you can use this iso while you are changing the exposure i'll just explain you in a minute so this is how you can use the iso setting next one is the interesting thing the exposure time which is the shutter speed value so what you can do is let's look at the range it starts from 1 by 1000 second and goes all the way up up to 1 by 15 second i think which is bummer because i expected it up to i think 4 second to 10 seconds would have been really great for some smooth silky effects so what you can do is to compensate this exposure time along with the iso so what you can do is to keep the iso to as much as low and if you want to get that smooth silky looking shots of say waterfalls or something like that you can use the 1 by 15 second which is the which is the minimum shutter speed value and uh, you can compensate with that iso and then take the picture so that you get really smooth and silky looking images of any waterfall or some subject whatever you are trying to capture but the other way around what you can do is to set the iso to around 400 or 800 and you can compensate with that uh, uh, exposure time so that you get to very you can freeze the moment actually if there is a subject running over here so there is a person doing some action over here and you want to freeze that particular moment you can keep to 1 by 500 second or even 1 by 1000 second and compensate with that iso 800 and then take the picture and the image will be sharp across the board so that is how you use the how you compensate the exposure time along with the iso the next one here is the focus now the manual focus starts from here from uh, closest distance and all the way goes up to infinity now they have given some numbers here to identify where you are so the 100 being the infinity the subject will be very sharp at the back of this frame and if you want to get across the board sharper images uh, i suggest you leave it to around 75 to 80 so that way the subject will be in proper focus so that is how you can use and even if you are taking flowers photography i suggest you to use manual uh, uh, focus that way it won't try to hunt a lot and you will get really cool looking close-up shots of any flowers or any subject so this is how you use the manual focus the next one here is the white balance now say that in particular situation in certain situations what you can see is the colors aren't accurate inside your camera what you can do is to change the custom white balance so there are a couple of moods here incandescent daylight so if you think daylight uh, uh, just works perfectly you just capture the picture with the daylight auto white balance so the next one will be fluorescent cloudy it all depends on the scenery and situation you are in but one interesting thing that uh, xiaomi has not missed is the manual change of this white balance which is awesome so just tap on that three stripes and here you have uh, all the manual white balance control so accurately you can get the colors of any subject or any portrait you are trying to capture so just see how the lower the number the cooler it gets and higher the number warmer the picture it gets so this is how you compensate and keep the perfect number and then capture the image that way you get very very accurate colors from your mobile so that is how you use the manual mode entirely so i have shown lens wide and tele and i have also shown you how you should compensate your iso as well as exposure time and there is this autofocus to where you can go from manually from closest distance to all the way up to infinity and the last one is the white balance and if i just swipe like this you have the hst mode which is really nice in very very low light uh, situations for example you are capturing pictures in indoor situation the lighting will be really low what you can do is to tap on this hht and make sure you are holding the camera really really steady that way you don't get any blurred images and then capture the image it will actually capture multiple images of different exposures and gives you really perfect looking images uh, whenever you capture it uh, during night so that's how you use the hht mode just tap on it to turn off and in order to zoom the picture uh, using the digital zoom of this you just tap and hold the 1x here and just move the slider like this you can zoom all the way up to 10x but i suggest you use up to 2x so that you get uh, proper images proper sharp and quality images and you don't lose the details 
so this is how you can use all the settings that is available on the Mi A1 and there is a couple of settings that you need to really change uh, which is uh, hidden in the settings here you tap on options and you have the setting here you go to the settings here and inside the setting you will find the save location info if you want to GPS tag your uh, pictures say that you are trying to capture this image uh, at some particular location you want to tag the location you can use the save location info and you have the camera sound so if you press the shutter button there is a clicky noise that happens so that's uh, the camera sound there and you have you can add the timestamp on photo so that you remember when it was taken uh, you have the show green lines uh, i suggest you always use the grid line so that you get a uh, very horizontal level and perfect images every single time you have the anti-banding this is a flicker effect say that uh, some particular situations you will see some flickers going on uh, if you want to reduce that flicker you always uh, keep that to 60 hertz and not 50 hertz by default it will be set to 50 hertz so make sure you are changing that the next one is the auto exposure see this is very interesting setting a lot of people don't know how to use the exposure settings here this is basically a metering method that is found on DSLR cameras what you can do is uh, say that you are capturing landscape images and everything uh, should be in proper focus that time I suggest you to use the frame average that way it covers entire frame and it tries to focus properly and gives you sharper images say that you have some person or you are capturing some street photography so that time you can uh, get very sharper images uh, at the center of the uh, frame the name itself suggests center fade so the next one is the spot metering see if you are capturing portrait images of a person or say flowers that time you can use the spot metering and really get some sharper images of that particular subject and while blurring the entire uh, frame across the board so this spot metering works really nice when you are taking close-up shots of anything any subject that way it enhances your image as well according to the metering it sets the exposure value by itself so i suggest you according to the scenario according to situation where you are capturing images so you always change this exposure setting and then take the image the another thing important to see here uh, which me a1 and other xiaomi phones have also got this feature is to change the contrast saturation and sharpness manually so if you ask me i'll be just brief and i'll suggest you to uh, keep the sharpness to high change the saturation to high not higher or highest reduce the contrast to low so this way you get really good images let me know in the comments how you get the images after changing this picture uh, so that i will know so yeah these are the settings that's available on the mi a1 i hope this video helped you with some information if yes please hit that like button and also don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more awesome content so see you all in another one till then 